I bet you wonder what I'm doing with my day today. Well, I've had kind of a busy day. I started out my day with paperwork and uh, then I finally made it out into the garden and I have had a wonderful working day here in the yard. The weather is just wonderful. Oh, if I'd worded that a little differently, I could have said I had, uh, let's see, wonderful working weather. <laughs> It could have all been W's if I would have worked at that a little harder, huh? <laughs> so today we're going to take a look at some of the vegetables that are coming out. And um, yeah, we got a lot of things to look at. And at the very end, we'll talk about the project a little bit. Yeah, I think I've got a little more work to do there. It wasn't quite as easy as it kind of turned out to be. So first, let's take a look at the garden. Come on, let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the tomatoes. I remember what, I forgot what day it was, I said I was thinking about uh, cutting off some leaves. And I had some leaves that were kind of, uh, had some spots on them. So I went ahead and I cut them because I needed to thin it anyway. They were just, the tomatoes were just crammed in the cage. So I took care of that. So everybody's got breathing room down the aisle. And then we'll come over on this side and we'll take a little look. I've got green beans. Green beans. Not here, of course. Oops. This one I'm going to take in. Well, actually, I'm going to take more than that one in. Yeah. I'm only feeding me tonight, so I can probably find enough for a meal here. Look, I've got lots of little ones there, too. Yeah. The really tiny ones. Look at that. Aren't they cute when they're little like that? I also found some tomatoes when I was doing this. When I was clearing out over here. <laughs> I sound a little hectic, don't I? Look at that. And those aren't the only ones, but those are the... Here's another one down here to show you. Well, while we're looking, let's go down to the zucchinis. I think I'm on the wrong side to show you this, but look at that. It's a nice size zucchini. There's another one there. Yeah. Still got lots of blooms. A lot more to come. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. Very nice. Back over to the little tomatoes here. I've actually eaten one of these. They're really good. And when they get ripe like this, it's probably best for me to take them in because I'm kind of competing with the wilderness here. Here's one of the little, I don't know whether this one is a pumpkin or a watermelon, or a melon. We'll have to ask quiet about that. Quick little peek at the prickly pear. Yeah. Got lots of leaves, lots of fruits. And there's nothing here anymore on the low quad tree. Taking a quick peek up here. Oh, this was a this board here was a support for one of Quiet's trees. You can see Quiet's corn up there. I just watered so I don't want to go up there and get my feet wet, but but you can see the corn. And we need to go down here. Like this. It's persimmons. And we have had a little dropping here. You see? There's a couple on the ground there. Already dropped. Little grapeies. And you don't see the beauty of the guava tree when we're in. Okay, this is what we're trying to get around to see. Let's get the flowers. Yeah. 
<laughs> more grapevines. I've got to get these. They're attacking the tree. A quick peek through the fence. Look at this. Attacking. <laughs> yeah, the, the tomatoes inside. I need to do some weeding in there. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, hold on. We didn't look at the fig tree. We haven't looked at the fig tree for a little bit. Let's come over and take a quick look at the fig tree. The figs are doing rather well. Look at that. It's going to have a lot of fruits. Still some little ones down there. Some new leaves coming. Yeah. I know there's something you've been probably wondering about. Let's go take a quick look at it. You remember this little plant, the loofah? This is the one I had inside. And apparently if I had waited a little bit, look, the ones in the pot, they would have come up. So I'm gonna have quite a few of them. Good for me, huh? <laughs> oh, we haven't looked at this either. My little resurrection lilies. The big ones have uh, already, these leaves have already died back, so I don't know why I haven't gotten lilies yet. I showed you the little um, resurrection lilies, but this is the leaves from the big ones. Usually they die back and I get a flower. Well, these aren't mine anyway, so there might be a flower on the other side, so I don't really know. And I know I've said this before, I need to repot my my aloe. Yeah, doesn't look so happy there, does it? Poor darling. I don't even know if you'll remember the herbs. I moved them outside after I almost drowned them. These are the original. These are the original. These pots I had to repot again. I had to just restart them. And this was a restart too. And so is this. So what do I have here? I have uh, oregano here. And this one is, I can't see the name. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we are. We're inside and looking at the project. And it is um, 31 by 27. And that's going around it and making like this border around. I thought I'd go around one more time and like uh, do miss a stitch and then go over one. But the more I think about it, the more I think is this edging is gonna have to go. I've just gotta take it all out and just make more squares. The idea is to have a blanket with uh, the little circles in the middle. And I'm afraid that if I make too big of a border, that kind of takes away from the squares. So yeah. So a lot more work to do here. I haven't decided how many squares I'm going to make either to make this bigger. So, yeah, I'll update you on that Sunday. Well, that's all I have for today. I want to thank you for uh, spending some time with me. And um, Babette, I want to thank you for your advice and voting with me to remove the leaves. And I think my plants will be a little happier and... Uh, I might need to try that with the roses too. I think when I water late at night or later in the day, things don't dry out. And so I get like, uh, my plants get like diseases because I we're getting ready to not have a lot of sun in where I'm at. So um, yeah, so I probably need to thin the roses out a little too. Yep. And with all that said, I'm gonna say goodbye again. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to say goodbye for today. Thank you for spending some time with me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.